Welcome, welcome, welcome to the living room where we listen, learn, and live together. I'm your host, Richard Martin. Make yourself right at home. Can you believe it? We've come not only to the end of the year, but also to the end of season one with 20 episodes. That's right. Not one, not two, but 20 episodes of The Living Room. You and I have had the chance to receive inspiration from individuals around the nation who've been so kind to draw from their stories and their experiences so that you and I might become the best version of ourselves. When we launched this journey back in August, I just wanted to get to 10 episodes. I had hopes of be going beyond 10, but 10 was my first benchmark goal. Well, we've doubled that 20 episodes. And I just wanna take this time to thank you for your listenership, for sharing, for subscribing, and for showing up week after week as we had meaningful conversations. Thank you very much. I also want to read the names of persons that we've had the chance to talk with and thank them as well. Claudia Allen, Dr. Leslie Pollard, Chaplain Sam Juden, Camille Hutchinson, Julie Cedroni, Lloyd Henry, Nathan Faavai, Lance Tucker, Kiera Niles, Janice Dickerson, Erica Gabriel, Sarah Milam, David Anderson, Julius White and Latoya Johnson, Samantha O'Bannon, Jawan Jones, Derek Ramey Jr., Monique Johnson, LaVon Idolet, Kelly Wells Brinkley, and Mr. Fred Thomas. To each and every one of you for taking time out of your schedules, for taking slices out of your lives and, lives and stories, we thank you. Our lives are better because of you. For those persons who might be wondering, well, why the living room? What does it mean? Normally, people would have an episode 000 before they even launch to give you answers to that. We took a different approach. We wanted to launch, launch out into the deep. And here we'll end season one by letting you know why the living room, what does it mean? Of course, by now, you know, in the living room, we listen and learn. And that's our philosophy, that listening and learning can positively impact living. I do believe that you can relate to this. We've had conversations before in our lives, at the end of which we've said, man, I wish that was recorded. There was a lesson that was shared, a gem or jewel that was dropped, some wisdom that was exchanged. But as conversations go after it's done, it's often difficult to go back and gather all that was shared. But here in the living room, which for me is one of the safest spaces for genuine dialogue, we've had the chance to catalog conversations that you and your friends and your family members can go back and learn from for years to come. I'm excited for season two. We've already begun cataloging recordings. We're gonna get into the editing process and launch them at the start of the new year. Our aim is to release weekly a conversation in which we listen and learn that we might live together. Now I wanna end this season by also thanking my wife. No, I'm not just trying to get brownie points, although I will accept them if they're given. I wanna thank her because in large part, this launch comes, and there are other people who are very instrumental in inspiring me towards this path, but the last gentle and loving and helpful nudge came from my wife. I won't go into the weeds of the conversation, but suffice it to say, I had shared the idea with her here and there, adding another detail to the idea, but then it came a point where she asked me, hey man, when are we going to transition from idea to implementation? You need people in your life who asks you those questions, and I do as well. So thank you, baby girl, for the nudge and the admonition. We are here. We've done it. The end of season one. Stay tuned for season two. Subscribe to the channel. Would you be so kind to do that? Share with me ideas for conversations, persons that you think would be great guests in the living room that we together might continue to listen and learn and live the best version of our lives as we become the best version of ourselves. I hope that despite the 2020 challenges that 2021 will have hope and fulfillment for you and your family, for your friend circle in ways that exceed your imagination. That's all I want to share with you for this episode of The Living Room. I'm your host, Richard Martin. We'll see you next time.